Hello Internet, this is Olivier and this is going to be a super quick video. Um, you may have uh, noticed that I've been pretty good. Every Monday there's been a video. So from now on, or from then on, every Monday you get a video. But this is just going to be like an in-between. Somebody asked me um, on a comment or email or something, um, how do I paint eyelashes? So I just thought I'm going to do a video, but it's going to be so quick that I'm just going to slot it in during the week. So there you go. This is... Hello. So this is the painting I'm working on at the moment. That's going to be interesting on the ladder with the can and filming. Um, so basically, this is what we've got so far. So it's not there yet. Obviously, I've barely started. Um, I've done the, the brown, all that. Oh, there's some wind, so you might hear it. Um, so now I'm at the work. I'm at the yes, I'm at the workshop. Uh, now I'm at the eyelashes, and I've always used. I mean, I think it was about maybe two years ago or something. I spent maybe three years ago. I spent about an entire year just using an Astro cap, uh, the biggest cap that you can get. Uh, not the biggest for graffiti, because uh, it's so it's really big and misty, and I talk about it all the time because I like it so much. But I think this is now my favorite, the Skinny Pro. Uh, both of them are really cool. Anyway, so I was kind of like battling for no reason. I was using an Astro cap to do eyelashes. And I was like, what am I doing? What am I trying to prove? And um, doing this for a year, I recommend it, made me a lot more accurate with my lines. And now I paint better because of it. You know, if you've got a fat cap or ultra fat cap, whoops, obviously, you know, you're going to paint better. Um, don't fall. But if you go to skinny, it's going to be a lot easier. And now I'm kind of thinking I might start using marker pens to make it even easier. And also, um, I've got to remember to talk with the microphone because otherwise you're not going to hear me. Um, if you see here, it's not finished, but it's it's you know well started. And this, I've done all of this with um, a skinny cap, and. Um, it's it's cool and if you stand back it's going to be cool but as you stand forward as, as you come forward it could be more detail in this i'll show you in the picture in a minute so i'm kind of thinking maybe i should mix more on colors of the poscos and i might do a special video is actually that'd be cool um, i'll do a video on how to mix colors with your poscos when they're brand new or used whatever so i think i'm going to make my own palettes of poscos for when i go in the street um so i'll just show you how to do them with a skinny and then I'll show you the difference with Mark Ben. The problem is, I don't know if it's all the cans today that are misbehaving or just this cap. I've only got one cap, uh, so I don't know. Uh, but as I'm pressing, there's just a lot of pressure coming out. And sometimes it happens. Maybe they were in the workshop too long and they were hot. I don't know, but they're not, they're not gradual. So we'll see what we can do. Turn the microphone around. You can hear me. All right. So if I was to do the eyelashes on this, probably end up messing it up. Um, I'll do it here. And uh, so actually, that's pretty gradual. Maybe they're starting to come around. Yeah, that's okay. Actually, it's just earlier they went from nothing to this. <laughs> okay, so maybe that's okay. We can do it. So basically. Like I said in um, episode, I mean, um, uh, exercise one or two or something, um, you know, press at the back and really get forward to get uh, lines that are as thin as possible. This is going to be good for lines, for fades, it ain't going to work. So, but that's what we're doing. We're doing skinny lines. Uh, you're going to want to get really close and press just a little bit. So, all of this. All of this is going to be the hair, so it doesn't really matter. It's going to be black. But what you want to do is you want to not only hold back on the cap, so you don't press too much, and you press at the back. I know I'm beating a dead horse here, talking about the same thing, but this is really important. Um, so this is how you get those skinny lines. But at the same time, you got to move a little bit, because if I stand still and press a little bit here, OK, that's not bad, but there, you're going to get a drip. So if I go, if I go like this, there's a chance that it's not going to drip. So let's try it. But this is why I think I'm going to use 
markers for the lashes and you know the detail and stuff because I mean that's just a lot a lot simpler <laughs> you know so yeah I think I'm just making my life a bit too difficult with this but if you want to do it with cans this is how you do it you just get really close and then you start pressing and then ah, stop going up you start pressing and then you just psh, flick it One thing that's really cool with lashes is if you, so this, I, I mean, it, it goes from here that way, but you'll have a few that will go the opposite way. So you can go, meh. but most of them, you make them go like this. I use my fingers a lot. I think, I don't know, why didn't I use my fingers before? This is brilliant. Finger painting. <laughs> so we play the game here. All right, so this is what you can do. Obviously, it's not great, but I'm filming, I'm not concentrating, and I don't have the picture with me, and a ton of other excuses, but this is how you do it. Now, let's have a look using an, um, my favorite Poskas. Not sponsored yet. Come on, Posca, get with it. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, let's do this one. Um, so you can use the corner. Yeah, obviously a lot easier. Okay, it's sold. From now on, I'm going to use <laughs> marker, marker pens. And again, I'm, I'm looking at the camera, so it's just a bit harder. All right. Yeah, obviously, that's going to be a lot thinner than this. And also, I can get thick and then flare out to a thin. With, even with a skinny, I mean, it's a bit difficult. So, yeah, I guess it's, um, it's up to you to decide. Put this back in the front so yeah really it's up to you i mean if you you have to be careful i've said this before you have to be careful about the you know the blah blah of graffiti artists and street artists and blah blah you know people in groups tend to be a bit dumb so think for yourself don't do what i did um the reason i went with an astro for a year really was just to show off like that i could you know do eyelashes and all that with an astro the first three months I struggled. After that, I was getting pretty good. Not perfect, uh, you know, it, sp it spits all over the place, but, you know, I was better than I am now with this, even though my skills seem to be improving anyway. So if you want to use a really fat cap, um, if you're doing portrait, use an Astro, don't use a, a pink dot, you, it's impossible. Um, so do it as an exercise to get thinner, thinner lines and stuff. And today, actually, it's a good, it's a good thing to have, you know, to be able to use a fat cap because I couldn't find any skinny pro in all my bags every, anywhere in the shop. But thankfully I found one, so that made it easier. So it's kind of cool to be able to use a fat cap. But, you know, if you want to do a good painting and a marker pen is going to work better, just use a marker pen. Just do it for you. Don't, you, don't do it for what people expect you to do, you know. Um, but at the same time, push your skills, so it's going to help. Anyway. That's the one take wonder for today and I hope this is going to work out for you. So this piece is going to be, I guess I'm going to put this video up today because there's no edit. Um, this piece is going to be coming next Monday as always, there's a video every Monday. Thanks a lot for watching and see you on the next one. And then this is the awkward moment when you see the person